Good morning lovelies, Zoe Tudor here with some Pokemon Go goodness for you and today, happy Valentine's Day first and foremost, hope you guys are doing well, it's very windy today so I'm going to try and, again, I hate doing the car videos but to preserve your ears and the audio we're probably going to be doing a few clips in the car, just trying to find somewhere a bit more uh, sheltered and covered into film or just wait for the wind to die down. But today we have got a bunch of new Pokemon spawning in Pokemon Go. We've got Muna, uh, which you can evolve into Mushana, this cute little sleepy bean. So we're gonna do that today, evolve that one. Uh, I did catch my one yesterday. Technically, yesterday was Valentine's in Australia, so you know how it is. We've also got a bunch of quests to track down. Uh, if you guys know, I do have a collection of 100% regional Pokemon. For this event though, Illumise and Volbeat are spawning all around the world together. They're normally regional, but they're popping everywhere. So I did not get those last year as hundos. I did get the shiny, so I'm stoked for that. And try and find those as hundos through research or through wild spawns or whatever it might be. Plus the Valentine's Spinder can be shiny. The sweet little broken heart shiny spinder uh initial reports saying that the quests don't seem to be increased which is i'm gonna maybe hassle out niantic about that and see what's going on there but we'll see if we can find some because it is like one of my i was prepping so hard last year i did so many quests last year to try and like i wanted to get that but it wasn't available last year so for a little broken heart shiny spender is the goal we'll see how we go though because the quests sound rare at the moment let's get stepping let's get moving let's get questing Wish me luck, uh, Alola Mola as well. Secret shiny, surprise shiny. Hey, look out, they didn't announce it, now it's shiny. So keep your eyes out for that too. Okay, so I've finally managed to pick up two of the Spinder quests. However, one's marked as event and one's not. I imagine that if there's a, you know, Spinder spawning, it'll be the same pattern, it'll be the Valentine's pattern, but I guess we'll see if there is a difference um, maybe in like the pattern or whatever. But I doubt it. They should both be the same regardless of if one's listed as event or not. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. The event's been live for like a full day. Yeah, it should. Okay, let's start with the... Let's go with the non-event one first just to see. Yep, still the, the Valentine's Spender. Okay, it's just... I don't know. That's just weird, but no stress. And check number two. No, not on the shiny. It's just such a cute shiny because like the little love heart changes to the little heartbroken one. So, I mean, fingers crossed, but I'm not gonna go as cray cray, I don't think, as the mill tank because we physically can't. There's not gonna be as many quests at this stage by the looks of it. So, you know how it be. I need, can I catch you for the quest please? For the Alolo Mola. Okay, we're back in the park. We got the shiny mill tank. So think good thoughts. Check another spinder. And some legends drop down like three lures. It's like a pretty good triple lure spot. So I might clean up a few things here, do a couple of shiny checks. And we just need one more love disc to catch to uh, tick off the Ala Mama 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 quest. So I want to see. Curious what the rate's going to be for a lol Mama 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 because it is. It is one that we don't see a lot of. So maybe it'll have a boosted rate. Like there are certain Pokemon that have got a like perma boost to their shiny rate. So. I'm curious. Okay, that was quick. Three, two, one. No, but we will uh, catch this one up to go towards the uh, the quest, the like Valentine's. Oh god, timed research kind of thing. Sorry, the collection challenge rather. I need to double check what's in quests because for the collection challenge, there are um, a few things. Latios and Latias that you have to raid for, so there's like no way getting around that. I mean, well, you could do PvP. Um, I haven't seen... I think I've seen one legendary this season in PvP. So, I mean, they're in there, but that's that's one option. If you want to do go Battle League, you have to get to a certain rank to get the legendary encounters, though. And then Umbreon and Espeon. I think one of these was in quests previously, but I don't know if they are at the moment. So that's, again, more raids. Because I don't think those are going to be in the, uh... Yeah, those are not in the encounter pool for PvP. We check the tasks here on Sylph Road. Uh, yes, three gifts to friends for the event. Stuff's going to be Illumise and Volbeat. Uh, Rolts there for the berries. Aloma Mola, um, out of two different quests, apparently. There you go. We have a scroll through... No Umbreon and no Espeon. So, yes, yeah, so we're going to have to raid for those, which... Meh, we'll see if I do that. I mean... The reward's not bad. Like, um, it's not, like, blowing my mind. Is it three remote raids worth, or is it... Maybe I can use my free pass per day. Maybe. Just managed to snag a Latio... Letty Blue raid here. Three, two, one for a 
cheeky shiny check, no. Uh, but we have got now two Alama Molas to grab. I did get um did a little Muna raid as well. A Muna raid. Muna. Muna? Muna? How do you guys want to say it? I say Muna. It's like a little moon. Little moo. Little bean. Quick appraise. Yeah, I mean, not bad, not bad, not bad. Uh, and two Ola Mama Mola checks. No on the first one. Number two. No. No, no, no. I just figured I'd do those because I picked up two of the raid quests like back to back anyway. So I was like, mm. smash out the things we need to for the collection challenge. Keep an eye out for the uh, Umbreon and Espeon through the week. So I'm not too stressed about that. We'll get them eventually. Use my free passes or something. And my daily spawn has appeared here for whatever reason. I just restarted the app as well. So that might be why. Just got an invite from Yuri. So thank you very much, Yuri san, for the invite to a Alomomomola raid. Look, I kind of actually prefer using remote raid passes on things that I can trade. I'm a bit of a fan. Why did I have I got Giratina? A bit of a fan of the distance trade badge. That's my favorite thing. I've got a bag full of distance legendaries that, you know, I've got a better IV of and I want to keep, but you can only like do one special per day. So that becomes a bit of a chore to like trade them out. So I don't mind doing distance raids for things that are like an easy non-special trade. And it's a shiny check, so might as well. Let's go three, two, one, drum roll. No on the shiny. I don't know when the last time I had a raid shiny was. Like besides, I mean, legendaries are one in 25 for the shiny odds, so that's not surprising. But when was the last time I had a non... Timber? Like that's, that's a while ago, if that's the, like the latest raid shiny. Like, Gibble I didn't get. We did a bunch of raids for that. Got the hundo. Esper I did a bunch of. It's not shiny. What else did I do? Rufflet I did a bunch of. Didn't get the shiny. Well, it might be all the way back to Timber. Like, just that random... Gosh. Possibly. Oh, and all V coming through with the invite. I'll try. If I've got passes, got like six seconds. Shout out to Agent V as well. No, don't do this thing. It's... Ugh, it's doing this thing. This error. The restart the app. Doing this thing where it tries to, um, there's a bug basically, where the game tries to use your free pass as a remote pass and then you can't get into the raid and blah, blah, blah. But I've got another quick quest to check. It's just one of the yeah, Il Ilmiz or Volbeaties. Uh, I'm just still after the hundo. Or I assume I am, I don't know. I caught a few, but I haven't uh, IV checked anything yet today. So let's do a classic. Just quick check for, I keep going to type in shiny because it feels like a little drum roll, but we have got the button there that I can just press that says shiny. So it's, pop. <laughs> <laughs> Rolts on the go plus, Ooh, wow, wow. Uh, you're gonna get transferred to Pokemon home as has become tradition. I might evolve it. So I've got it evolved here and then yeeted over depending what I need in my, like I've started working on like my shiny, I'll oh, mark my, my living Pokedex in Pokemon home. Uh, and let's also go for four star. Yo, yes, no, yes, no, yes, 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 yes. Let's freaking go. Hundo Muna on the go plus. Thank you. What? How many? I mean, they're popping clearly. Let's go. Trying to pick up quests. Pays off. Also, I've only literally, there was only three spinder quests that I could find. Um, I did two laps of town, go plus on, pulling over to, you know, you don't play while you're driving, but the go plus is doing its automatic thing in the bag. Only three spinder quests that I could find in the chunk that I did. And that's like 150 to 200 Pokestops. And I did them again without the, the Pokestop scan thing on. Not great. But worth it for this little lad. Oh my dude. Let's evolve the sleepy bean. That's amazing. Let's go. Yeah, renamed first. That's wild, man. Okay, let's do it. Straight up and evolve. No hesitation, no waiting for like, oh, I'll evolve it eventually. Got the hundo, man. That's as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> This is gonna be so good for AR photos. It's just like a little floaty bean. It won't ever look like 
know some Pokemon you take a photo of some Pokemon and like their feet don't quite sit right on the grass or on the floor or whatever it is. It's just going to be a little floaty bean. Oh, it's to, it is to the side. That's so cute. This is me how I sleep. It's just like nothing how I sleep. I probably sleep like just... But this is a adorable Look at his little booty. Look at it. I'm going to take some photos of this because this is going to be really, really cute. Look at that. 10 out of 10. I'm... That's... Catch of the day, let's go. Short and sweet for today. The weather was just absolutely miserable. I want to get back out and be walking and catching and just having a good grind. Kanto weekend is this weekend coming. Can you believe it? Like literally this coming weekend, every Kanto Pokemon is going to be shiny. It's going to be ridiculous. We're going to be just be playing non-stop. I'll have several videos coming out for that, no doubt, because it's just always so much happening. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you're new, all that good stuff. Whew, let me know in the comments down below. Have you been lucky enough to grab yourself a Valentine's Spinder so far? They are one of the ones that are perma shiny boosted. It's like one in 68 or it's less than 70. It's like one in 70-ish shiny rate. So they are perma boosted, which means you've got a better chance. Even though there's less quests, there's still a good chance that you might get one from those quests. So definitely... If you find the quest, hang on to it, give it a go. It might take a little while to get it done, but you got this love disc is easy to hit grates on. Just make sure you give it the nanab so it stops doing this attacking thing. But anyway, let me know in the comments down below how has your Valentine's event started? Happy Valentine's Day. Even if you do or don't celebrate Valentine's, like me and Alan don't do like stuff for Valentine's Day. Uh, for me, Valentine's has always been like a thing that mum, like me and mum and my sister and stuff, it was always like mum would get us like a little, you know, a little thing of chocolates or like a little like baby Lego kit and stuff. And it was just kind of like, hi, I love you. Take us out for dinner sort of thing. It's always been like a family thing, more so than like a, a romance thing. So, hey, you're part of my family. Thanks for being here. I love your guts and I hope you're having a good day. As always, lovelies, thank you so, so much for watching. If you are new, please be sure to subscribe. Thank you to everyone who did leave a like as well. And if you'd like additional ways to support the channel, links for Patreon and the merch are in the description down below. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful morning, noon, night, whatever time it is for you. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.